Hi, I'm Dunima. I study Advanced French Pastry Arts at CHCA and I'll be making peppermint truffle pops for you for the 12 days of CHCA. So the first step uh, to make this is we start making a ganache for the truffle. So what we need for the ganache first is some water in a saucepan. Uh, we will bring it to a boil and then we're going to put the chocolate on top of it to melt the chocolate. So now the water has come to a boil. We're going to put the chocolate bowl on top of it very carefully so the water does not go inside the bowl. If the wa water meets the chocolate, the chocolate is going to cease so we don't want that. So to make a ganache, you can have the cream which is um, slightly room temperature. So to make the ganache, you can use the cream which is at room temperature. You can even use a colder cream but you would need to bring it to a boil first and then add it to a chocolate. But if your chocolate is melted and your cream it has, is at room temperature, you can just mix them together to make a ganache. So you don't even need to stir the chocolate, it's going to melt by itself but just to bring the softer bits on top, you can just stir it a couple of times. Make sure there are no lumps in the chocolate and it's melted straight through and once that, it, that is done, you carefully remove the bowl from the pan, put it on a duster, uh, make sure there's no water at the bottom of the bowl that can go inside so you can just wipe it. So finally to finish this ganache off we're gonna add some cream to it. This is 120 grams of chocolate and 40 grams of cream. Um, we'll just stir the cream into the chocolate. Ganache is gonna look. It's all nice and even. The cream has been mixed in. It's glossy, it's shiny. But now to add the flavor to it. This is how, this is why the recipe is so adaptable. Um, I'm doing a peppermint flavor because it's Christmas, it's holiday season. Um, but you can add any other flavor you want um, that's available in the market. Um, if you want to do a coffee flavor, you can just get a coffee extract. So uh, it just depends on you how you want to do it. So we'll just add a very few drops because oil extracts are really, really strong. Make sure it's nicely mixed. And that's about it. Now you're going to put it in the fridge. Uh, if you want, you can put it overnight. It sets better that way. But if you want, you can set it only for two to three hours in your refrigerator or in the freezer and it'll be perfect. So once your ganache is set, this is exactly how it's going to look. It's going to be firm and you'd be able to scoop it out with a spoon. It's going to be super thick. So what we do now for the truffle pops is we're going to make the pops with the ganache. Um, I've already rolled some out here, so we're just gonna, we're, you, can, you can weigh it to a, like a 15 gram per ball so that you get equal sizes, otherwise you can just wing it, you can just take a spoon, scoop them out, you can take them in your hand and you can roll them. Remove the chocolate from the spoon, take it in your palm and you roll it. The better way would be to do it with gloves, more like there's when it comes to sanitization, but I prefer to do it with hands. It's just easier, you get a better grip and you get a better shape. Once you're done making the pops, you can pop them into the refrigerator or the freezer um, for about um, an hour to two um, until they're stiff. Uh, so then, then you can insert the lollipop sticks in them because otherwise they won't stay if it's too soft. Now we're gonna melt some chocolate uh, that we're gonna dip the truffle pops in. The trick with this is that the chocolate needs to be tempered. Now that's a very tricky and professional term and I know it's confusing, uh, but the easy way to go about it is to melt the chocolate on a double boiler and then bring it down to 29 to 28 degrees Celsius. You can buy a digital thermometer and then you can just melt your chocolate and you can use that to check the temperature. So once the water starts boiling, you can reduce the temperature. You can put the chocolate bowl on top. I've taken about 100 to 150 grams of chocolate here. The most attractive part about this dessert is that the pops are in two colors. Uh, the one color is red and one color is white. They're all Christmassy colors. Um, if you want, you can just make it like a green color also. So once the chocolate is melted, um, there are no lumps. You can take it off the double boiler carefully, making sure there's no water that goes inside the bowl. You can wipe off the bottom of the bowl. So now you can use your thermometer you, to check the temperature at what temperature the chocolate is at. It's at a 44 or 45 for me. 
So now to decrease the temperature a bit faster, uh, what we're going to do is we're not going to put it in the fridge. We're going to take uh, some chocolate, which is not melted, and we're going to pop it in the bowl. Um, a few at a time uh, so that they melt properly. And then we're just going to che keep checking the temperature until it reaches 28 degrees Celsius. Once the chocolate has reached the desired temperature, which is 29 degrees Celsius to 28 degrees Celsius, we're going to divide them into two bowls. One is going to be just the white chocolate. We're going to fill it almost up to the top. If you want lesser wastage, I would suggest use smaller bowls, smaller quantity for the red color because that's just, uh, we're just going to use very little quantity of it. So once the cocoa butter is melted, you want to add um, maybe a teaspoon, basically just a good amount to give it a really nice red color. We're going to mix it in until all the cocoa butter color is mixed in with the white chocolate. It's all homogeneous and this is how it looks like. It's all homogeneous mixed in. So now before dipping the pops, uh, we're going to get them out of the freezer. We're going to use these, we're going to use these uh, lollipop sticks and we're just going to pierce through the pops and make sure they fit right in and they're stuck not too deep in it just enough so that you can lift it up once that is done you can get a styrofoam um, so once you dip the lollipop in you can take it out and you can put it on the styrofoam for it to sit there and set and you can then put the bowl with the styrofoam inside the fridge uh, for it to set further so the way that we're going to do it is we're going to take a spoon of the red color and make sure both the chocolates don't have any lumps um, you're just going to pour the, white, the red onto the white in a zigzag manner and that's about it. And then you're just going to take a lollipop and then you're just going to dip it in, straight in, make sure everything gets covered. When you lift it up, you're going to twirl it around to get the to get the pattern and you're going to hold it right there for a couple of seconds so that the excess strips off. You can hold the styrofoam up there and you can stick it upright in this, basically you can stick it upright into the styrofoam in this manner so that you get a dripping pattern at the bottom but if you don't want that you can just turn it around and you can put it right in. Once they're set, they're, they're almost going to set immediately. If they don't, um, you can just put them in the refrigerator and they're definitely going to set. Um, just to finish them off and give them a little Christmas bling, um, I use a silver um, edible dust and then you can just brush them lightly with it. If you want, you can just gently dust some. So these are the peppermint truffle pops and I hope you enjoy them for the holiday season.